Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video from the news playlist. In this video, we're going to set up the navigation graph and we're gonna build our navigation system. Okay, so inside the presentation layer, create a new package here and call this navgraph. And inside here, we're going to create a class that has all the routes and that's gonna be CLD class. Let's call this route. So for each screen, we're going to have the route. And now let's open curly brackets here and let's create objects for our different screens. So I'm gonna create an object here, call this on boarding screen. Let's extend it from route and let's send the route. This one for the home screen. This one for the search screen. One more for the bookmark screen. Another one for the details screen. And now I'm gonna create routes for our sub navigations. So we're gonna have a sub navigation graph for the app start navigation which is going to show the important screens and let's extend it from route let's pass app start navigation and we're going to have another subgraph here called this news navigation let's extend it from route and let's pass news navigation and by the way, the news navigation here will show the rest of the screens and another screen we're going to have, which is the news navigator screen. And you will see how we're going to use these screens and these sub graphs when we get to it. So it's okay for now. Just let's create these uh, routes. And now we're going to create a nav graph here and call this nav graph. Let's choose file and let's create a composable function called nav graph. So for this navigraph, we're going to get the start destination, which is just a string. And for this navigraph, we want the nav controller. You remember nav controller. We can remove this. And then we can create the nav host, which is just a composable function. Here we pass the nav controller. And we can delete this and pass the start destination. Now open curly brackets. And here we want to create two subgraphs. The first one for the onboarding screens. So we can say navigation. And the start destination of this subgraph is onboarding screen. Dot route. The route here. We can get that from route dot app start navigation dot route. Now we can open this and we can call composable. For the route here again, we're going to pass route dot on the screen dot route, and then we can just put that screen in here. Let's get the view model. We can actually go to the main activity, and we can copy this part. We can cut it, and we can get back to the nav graph. We can paste that in here. Now we are going to have another sub graph here. Let's create another navigation. So for the route here, I'm going to make this route.news navigation route. And then for the start destination, we're going to use route.news navigator screen dot route. Here we can just call composable route equals route.news navigator screen. And for the screen, we have not uh, designed that yet. So I'm just going to show a text composable and call this news navigator screen. Now let's go to the main activity. And here we can just remove this now inject. And we can remove this lifecycle scope. And for this activity, we're going to create a new view model called this main view model. For the constructor, we want to inject the use cases. So here we can just say private val app entry use cases. And here we want to just determine the start destination. So we want to get the value of the app entry key from the data store preferences and check 
If that's true, then uh, we can just go to the news navigator screen. If that's false, then we can just show the onboarding screens. Now in here, I'm going to have a state called as splash condition mutable state of and let's pass true in here. Now we want to expose an immutable version of this state. And another one here is gonna be the start destination. So I think we can just do this. We can say var start destination and we can use by mutable state of and here we can just pass an initial um route dot app start navigation dot route and then we need to import this. And then we can make this private set now we don't need to expose this one and yeah we can actually do that in here but yeah i just showed you that both ways now anyways inside the init block here we are going to use our use case which is read app entry so read app entry okay so this read app entry is a suspend function we need to change that we don't need the suspend keyword anymore because this just returns a flow there is no need to have a suspend keyword so on each emission we want to have we want to check if our or first let's actually name this to should start from home screen so if that is true then we want to say start destination equals to wow.news navigator dot route else than that we want to start from the onboarding screen so we want to emit app start navigation let's do that start destination equals to route dot app start navigation dot route and then we can actually just add a little bit of delay in here and then we can actually emit false to our splash condition and i will show you why we need the splash condition so just wait you know what i'm just gonna just refactor this and use by delegated word just as we did in here and i'm gonna just make this private set and remove this underscore um let's make this var and we're gonna actually change that in here as well so we can just delete this and we can say splash condition equals to false now we can go to the main activity and we can get an instance of that view model. In here we can say view model by view models. And in here we want to get the main view model. One thing we forgot to do is to annotate this with health view model. And now let's get back here. We can just call the nav graph and we want to get the start destination. And we can just say val start destination view model dot start destination. And we can pass the start destination in here. Now we want to keep the splash screen visible until we fetch this start destination from data store preferences. And we can do that by calling apply set keep on screen condition. And here we can pass the view model uh, view model dot splash condition. And that's why we need the splash condition. So when it gets false, then we're gonna just exit this splash screen. And that's it. Now, if we launch the app, we should land on um, on the news navigator screen because we already saved the app entry boolean in the last video. So let's see that. Okay, so nothing happened here. We actually stayed on this splash screen. So, okay, so something dumb is I forgot to collect this flow. So we can just do that in launch in view model scope. And now this will work. So let's see. And yeah, here you go. So we just showed this is as you can see, this is the text. It's okay. It shows in a weird way. Um, that's not what we are looking for now, but we landed on the news navigator screen. Now let me just delete the app and install it again. Now this time when we install it, we should land on the onboarding screen. So let's uninstall this. And let's install it again and let's see okay here you go so we landed on the onboarding screens 
Now, if we get to the last one and click on get started, we should directly go to the news navigator screen. So let's see. And that's actually work. And yeah, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll talk about the system bars colors and how we can change that in Compose using uh, an accompanist library that supports uh, Jetpack Compose. So that was all for this video. I hope you have a great day and catch you in the next one.